What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Fallout video. Today I wanted to go over where to get the excavator armor. This thing is absolutely vital when it comes to mining. Instead of just picking up one ore every time, you pick up four. You absolutely need this piece of armor. The only requirement is you must be level 25. That is the minimum level requirement for this power armor. If you want to maximize how much loot you get, you gotta get this thing. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. Stay tuned for my next video right after this. I plan on showing where the best leg locations are. And as always, if you guys find this helpful or entertaining, smash that like button and subscribe for more content. It really helps out the channel. All right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do, head over to Garahan Mining Headquarters. That is southwest of Foundation and southwest of White Springs. Once you're there, you wanna kill all the robots, if there are any. I was already here and you want to go to the front of the building and find the poster. There's a poster for a Garahan excavator poster and this will start the miners miracles quest. Stick around to the end so I can show you guys the best place to get the materials to make the power armor. Avoid the mines go ahead and head down the elevator. Freaking gutsies back up. Go to the terminal that's right in the front. Gutsy's be tearing me up. Go ahead and hit the first option in the terminal. Head west down the stairs or east on your map, on your compass. Oh, gotta be careful with these gutsies. They are stupid strong. Those robots are probably one of the strongest mobs in the game. Your first option. There we go. Unlocked all the excavator pieces. So two terminals. So in order to build an excavator, you're gonna need a chassis. Chassis can be located all over Appalachia. A couple good places to look is for one, probably Blackwater Mine. The excavator, the chassis piece is pretty much right up the hill from the station that's down to the right there. To make your way through. In this little building right here, and there's your chassis. Kill all your mole miners, because they are everywhere. So it's basically right by the entrance. And if it's not here, you can just keep hopping servers. Eventually one will pop up here. And you go ahead and enter it. You enter the chassis to claim it. Once you're in your set, it's yours. So you can basically, you can just hop out. In order to put different parts and to make new parts for this, you gotta jump out right by the chassis. As long as it doesn't keep telling you you can't exit here, you just gotta find a place. As long as it's near the chassis, you can then hit modify. At that point, you can start making your pieces. So in total, you need 36 black titanium, 12 glass, 26 rubber, 60 screws, 60 springs, 38 oil, 30 gear, and six nuclear material in order to make an entire set of excavator. Your black titanium can be found killing mole miners either in the ash heap or at uranium fever, you can just run through either or and destroy these mole miners. And as you do, they drop miner suit scrap, which give you black titanium, steel, and gears. They also drop mine suit filters, which give you rubber, steel, and copper. So these mole miners pretty much have most of what you need anyway. And their breathers drop aluminum and rubber. They have pretty much everything. You'll probably get the most at uranium fever by far. Your glass, you know, you can get from any bottle or anything laying around. Glass is pretty common just in general loot. If you are low on glass and you absolutely need some, you can go to the Nuka-Cola power plant, which is right in this area. That is west of Poseidon or Camden Park, which is this roller coaster. Both are west of the ash heap and they have plenty of bottles laying around. All these but black titanium, you can buy bulk from any station. Like if you look here, you can get your gears, your rubber springs. Also mole miners, I believe drop nuclear material as well. The only thing you're gonna have the hardest time with is probably the black titanium. But after a few uranium fevers, you're gonna be able to build the whole set. Your screws you can get from Earl at Colossal Problem or any Wendigo really. A couple rounds of Colossal Problem and you'll have plenty of screws. As long as you focus on killing the Wendigos instead of Earl, and then make sure you pick everything up as you're going and you'll be just fine. Really just one run at Earl and you can get more than 60 screws. If you're feeling low on caps, you can come over here to Mountainside Bed and Breakfast and it is 
probably one of the best plays to get springs in the game. You drop from clipboards, handcuffs, cameras, toasters, typewriters, watches, pretty much, and those things you can just find anywhere. Mountainside Bed and Breakfast is just west of Foundation and south of White Spring Station, so pretty pretty easy to get to. One recommendation I'd have for oil would be fighting the cryptid up by Hemlock Holes. Hemlock Holes is also a nice place to get acid. So from the actual Hemlock Holes workshop, he's just over here in the swamp area, the Grafton Monster. An easy way to take him down is actually to hit him right in the blowhole. You don't have to be a very high level. As long as you pop him in the blowholes, he drops pretty quick. One shot with my black powder, although it's glitched. If you want to see the ammo glitch, that'll be in the description below as well. But tar, waste acid, and waste oil. Plenty of it. There's also a Grafton monster right south of Poseidon. Once you spawn in, the power plant will be on your left, and your Grafton monster will be down here in the ravine. Right down here, he's usually between this and the Capitol building, the Charleston Capitol building. I don't see him on this server, but he's usually right in this area. If he's not there, you can just server hop. But yeah, definitely a good source of oil. But yeah, there you go, guys. You're all set. Now you can go ahead and make your excavator armor. Now you need a good spot to use your excavator armor. Next up, I have a video showing all the best lead spots. So watch out for that. You can literally get 2,000 or more lead within 15 minutes. So it's absolutely priceless. You should never have to spend any money on lead. There's no reason to spend not one cap. But yeah, thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed if this was helpful or entertaining or anything smash that like button and please subscribe for more content if you have any suggestions on anything else you guys need to know please let me know in the comments or just type let's go in the comments hey whatever either way show me some love i appreciate you guys y'all are what keep me going so hey i hope you all take care love yourself tell someone else you love them today hey stay safe in this crazy wasteland peace wastelanders when i was down Oh, you might be alive.